all. I am back with another video. Honestly, I feel like I'm having some kind of like dilemma in my head about like what kind of content I want to make. I know the type of content that I want to make, but then I also want to do other things. And I do understand that in order for your channel to be successful, you sort of kind of have to find your niche and what you really want to put out there. So I still I feel like I still want to do the mental health content, but I feel like I don't want my channel to be just about that because it is so limiting. So I will be doing vlogs and such um, lifestyle content, but then I will also throw in the mental health stuff at least once or twice a month. But uh, yeah, we'll see how the flow of everything goes and I'll get feedback from you guys about what you want to see. I'm just gonna have a little salad here for lunch. I'm gonna do like a little mukbang situation. Uh oh, I'm making a mess already. So I just wanna like discuss boundaries and how we can create healthy boundaries, how we can go about sticking firm on our boundaries and not letting people overstep us because I feel like that's super important. And a lot of people don't know how to instill boundaries, especially with friends and family and romantic partners. It's kind of hard sometimes because you feel bad or depending on the other person in the relationship you have with them. Sometimes things have already gone so far that you can't set those boundaries. But it's never too late. And if you want to have healthy relationships with people, this is your best bet. And whoever does not respect your boundaries, you don't need to have those people in your life. So I recently, um, I'm going to say stumbled on a situation where a male told me that women and men both have different boundaries different boundaries and different rules and regulations that they have to abide by in a relationship which as much as I understand that that's how it is that's just how it is I don't necessarily agree so for example if you have a non-negotiable boundary in a relationship that cheating is an absolute no-go which most like majority of people do even though some people try to you know get around that but for the most part, I would say that people, you know, wouldn't be okay with their partner cheating and their partner wouldn't be okay with them cheating. But what we're bumping into a lot as women is we're being told that we have to accept cheating by men because that's just how men are or that's just how it is. And, you know, like what men will say that men and women are not equals and women should hold, their, hold themselves to a higher standard and xyz now here's my take on that yes women should hold themselves to a higher standard because i agree that we are the prize there is no relationship without us you know so i do agree about that that women are the prize and we should hold ourselves to a higher standard but at the same time men you guys gotta start putting that same value back onto yourselves. Like you guys are really just out here having sex with whomever, doing whatever, and think that it's okay just because you're a man. Like when are you guys gonna hold yourselves accountable and when are you guys gonna start placing value in yourselves and seeing yourself as more than just a sex symbol? It's embarrassing, it's giving desperate, it's giving gross, it's giving immature. You guys need to stop with this mentality that you guys can do whatever you want because you're men and that's just, it's a man's world and blah, 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 blah. Some of those things may be true, but at the same time, why be in a relationship with, why be in a relationship with somebody if you know that you're not going to be faithful? There's just absolutely no point to that whatsoever. And also too, like men have this whole notion that like, okay, if the woman stays and she accepts the cheating, but if she cheats on you, you're going to be sick for a whole five years. Like, you're not going to be able to eat. You're not going to be able to sleep. And that's if you stay. Majority of men are not staying with women that cheat on them. 
And that's some tea. Mm, that's why men are trifling. And if your man cheats on you, you should cut. Because let me tell you right now, if that was you, he would not be giving you any saving grace. And that's fucking, that's for fact. So it's so important to set your boundaries early on in a relationship and to stand firm on them. Because when you don't, these men out here will eat you alive. They will chew you up and spit you out. They really will. As a woman in general, it's like we're already at a disadvantage because of the way the world views women in society and the way we're supposed to look, the way we're supposed to act, the way we're supposed to think and desire marriage and relationships. But it's like, why are the standards not the same for men? Why? Why do you guys not hold yourself to the same standard? So honestly, my advice to you ladies is to hold your head firm, stand firm on your boundaries, and don't let anybody overstep those boundaries because the moment that you allow somebody to see your weak spot is the moment that they're going to take advantage of you. And that's just some real shit. I've seen it way too many times. I've been a victim of it myself. And honestly, I feel like since I started setting healthy boundaries for myself and like the people in my life, things have become a lot better and easier because people just know that they can't mess with you. And that's what you want. You want people to know that, hey, I am whole within myself i know exactly where i'm going where i came from and i'm not putting up with certain shit anymore that is exactly how you need to let people view you as somebody that's not going to put up with their shit there's always better out there whether it be in a relationship or a friendship xyz there's always someone that's going to respect you and hold you to a higher standard and that's your tribe that is your tribe Honestly, guys, this salad is so damn good. It's um, it's a chicken avocado. <laughs> it's a chicken salad. But yeah, don't let anybody take advantage of you. And the easiest way to set a boundary is to sit, one, sit someone down and have a serious conversation with them. Explain what boundaries you're trying to put in place. Why? And tell them it's either you do this or... Or it's either you respect my boundaries or you're out. To the left, to the left. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> you guys let me know in the comments. What is one boundary that you have? Or non-negotiable. That if somebody crosses it, you're like, fuck out of here i'm curious to know what you guys are doing in your relationships and i just want you guys to interact with me so i know how we're all doing you know i promise you that once you instill boundaries for the people in your life you will have better relationships overall you will feel better about yourself overall because you're not going to be a pushover you're not going to be somebody that's just doing things to please other people aka a people pleaser and I feel like overall, you're just going to feel more whole. You're not going to feel like you're having to like do things to make other people happy or you're seeking validation from anyone. And that is exactly the place that you want to be in life. So go out into the world, set those boundaries and get back to me and let me know in the comments what kind of boundaries that you guys have in place right now, what boundaries you want to put in place and exactly how you're going to do that. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video.